What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some super cool stuff that has arrived recently at E-Knives. If you guys are not familiar with E-Knives, put them on your list. Do it and then thank me later. When I say your list, I mean the retailers that you constantly bounce around to to check their inventory. Seriously, you will thank me with E-Knives. Fast shipping, all of that stuff. It sounds like a big ad for E-Knives and the truth is, is I have affiliate links with them but uh, they have no idea that I do these videos. They don't pay me to do them. I genuinely enjoy going to these various retailers and seeing what they've got that's new or their exclusives or whatever uh, because there's new stuff pouring in all the time. And here lately with really good new stuff pouring in in larger quantities, these types of videos have been a lot more fun to do. So uh, I'm really glad that you guys have been enjoying them because I, I really like doing this stuff. So anyways, if you don't wanna sit here and listen to me yell through your rectangle at your face about knives uh, and you would rather just do this yourself, I will link this page exactly, which it's actually gonna be the new arrivals page. I will link this page exactly down in the description of this video so that you can go through and look at this stuff yourself without hearing my obnoxious voice. If you like my obnoxious voice, um, then uh, sit here and listen to it because I'm going to yell it at you. Uh, let's take a look. E-Knives, um, carries a lot of American stuff. It's pricey, but if you're big into the American stuff and you needed a reason to check out E-Knives, there you go. Lots of American stuff here. Uh, they carry other stuff, but a lot, heavy emphasis on uh, American stuff. Uh, like I was saying, fast shipping, all that, they, su they do a great job. Um, so some new Microtex, Hera, Frag, etc. The Delta Coyote, the Direct Delta Coyote, that's actually kind of a neat one. Uh, let's look at that real quick. Ooh, wait. Ooh. My memory, yeah. Oh, it's the regular Direct. Okay, this is okay. But the Direct Delta, I like the Direct Delta a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's the 3.8 inch, meaning it's closer to 9 inches. Yeah, 8.9 inches. Um, that's the bigger one. That's the one to go for. Um, so yeah, if you're, I mean, yeah, it's pricey. But if you're looking for a crazy one, right, that the camo thing, that's pretty cool. Also, they have combat trodons and <gasps> look at this. Yeah, I bought mine last night. Let me tell you something, guys. Number one, this is the Microtech and Reich Annex. It is an authorized Microtech and Reich collaboration, meaning Microtech said, hey, Reich, would you build these for us with our blessing, like thumbs up? And Reich was like, yeah, we'll do that because if Microtech tried to make these knives, exactly these knives in the United States, they would be well over $1,000. No, they're not, Metal Complex, stop exaggerating. Yes, they would be. This is an integral titanium frame, not an integral titanium frame lock. That's just a regular frame lock. I mean, the entire frame is milled from a single block of titanium. That's expensive to do. On top of that, there's a lot of intricate milling that goes into this thing. The blade, the handle, the freaking carbon fiber inlay, that pocket, all that stuff, right? This would be an expensive knife. That being said, the base models of these came in at $450, which I honestly thought was pretty fair. That's pretty standard for a chi like a well-made Chinese integral. Like not your freaking whoever's doing it, right? This is like a nice integral. That's like a Riot price, right? 606 bucks though, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I bought this last night from E-Knives. I asked no special favors. I did use my own affiliate link, I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, but um, I, it really stung to pay that price. Why, why are we being charged $150 more for the black DLC? I had this argument with myself in my head as you could imagine, was freaking chaos because there are a lot of different voices, a lot of different characters up there. So we were all screaming at each other last night. And uh, yeah, it's black. What, what we all concluded was, it's oh, it's all black though, it's so cool. That was the final decision as I, you know, I was all sweaty and aggressively, angrily uh, typing my <laughs> credit card information in. Um, it's cool. I picked up the DLC um, SOCOM Bravo, which is also $150 more than the standard one. And it's the same thing. I was like, I love this, but geez, they must know. I mean, there it is right there. It's like, why are you charging us more? And they don't have to say they'd be like, because we know you think it's cool. 
And I'm just like, well, dang it. I got, what, what am I going to say, right? You, you do what you want to do. This is here right now. These are popping up and then going away, right? So I'm going to try to have this up and ready to go for you guys uh, Saturday morning so you can grab it if you want to. SOCOM Alpha Minis, not necessarily a mini knife. In fact, not mini at all. This is a pretty robust fixed blade. Look at the flat on that thing. Um, I'm pretty sure these are at least a fifth of an inch uh, on the spine. With And with this being, it's an American Tanta with a belly and an enormous flat. That is more than you could ever need, right? What is the blade steel? Can we zoom in? This is not helping. It's not M390, is it? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. 280 bucks. These are made in the United States, right? Zoom out. God, this ancient computer. Uh, I need to shovel more coal into the disk drive. Um, yeah, these are made in the USA. Sorry. I was having a brain fart there. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and yeah, uh, Microtech Ultratech Hellhound in bronze. That's a lot of money for an Ultratech. They have a ton. The Macora, that's a tempting Macora. I'm going to be honest here. I'm be honest. I don't know why this specific scenario calls for me being more honest than usual. Um, that red aluminum with the inlay there looks pretty sweet. Uh, I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got. They made Hellhound Troodon minis. Wow. <laughs> uh, Thierry Savidon. I have not heard of that. K Koops. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sorry. Blasted Time, Mokotai Accents, etc. Okay. There's the SOCOM Alpha. There's Microtech Pens. There's these things. You can dual wield. Do you get them both? The double B. There you go. Feel like equipping your Skyrim character, your self-personified Skyrim character with weird fist weapons, then you can do that. Uh, plus 10 agility, plus 10 public shame. Sorry, I this is just an odd thing to me. Um, I uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Medford TFF ones, we see those periodically. I do like, is this, that's the, that's the S. So that's the smaller guy. Uh, the X is the larger guy. This is the one that I wanted to look at. And honestly, so I have reviewed the X. This is a pretty nice knife. I'm not big into the two-tone blade, but they don't, not all of them are like that. This is Magna Cut 6061 T6 aluminum. Compares to the Combat Troodon in size, which is accurate for 372 bucks. If you're a USA OTF person, right? I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the pretend the Cobra Techs and stuff like that. I'm talking about if you're an actual USA OTF person, you know that that price is very competitive. Um, it is a lot like um, how Chevy is to Cadillac, right? Yeah, it's a Cadillac, but. You could buy the Chevy for a lot less. You know what I mean? Um, ooh! Oh, that's the that's the smaller. I was gonna say that's the one that I have. That's the smaller version of what I have. Benchmade Claymore. That's an okay auto. I wish it wasn't the Grivery. Grivery. Um, Benchmade eighty five. What? The latest addition to the Balasong lineup. I'm not a Balasong person, but I know some of you guys are. That's a uh, that's an American uh, titanium Benchmade Balasong. So there you go. Let's take a look at the next page here. Heretic Colossus. I think that's their biggest, obviously. I like everything about this knife except for one thing. Can you guess? Come on, guys. Come on with this. Was this on purpose? The rest of the knife looks great. Main USA, eight and a half inches. I don't think it's quite as big as the Scarab, but it's it's pretty big. I think it's pretty bulky. 
I do like that one. I wish they would change the clip. Benchmade bailouts. Is that the... Uh, Surely that's the one. That's the the bailout's the one in uh, M4, right? Yeah, M4. There you go. It's the one in. It's there. It's the other one that that I didn't like. So that a lot of people didn't like so much because of the heat treat on the 3V. Wingman EDC Tom Mayo's. Those are kind of cool. There was an evening where I seriously looked at those for a little bit. God dang! If you want a pair of a freaking titanium knuckles for five that is okay i mean some people like those Ooh, that's a real nice looking combat troodon i know that there's very few people watching right now who are ready to spend over two grand on a marfion custom yes there is a difference between the marfion customs and the standard stuff right i i get it there's a lot of rage thrown at these things so why it's the same it's it's not there's a lot more work that goes into this stuff right um is the price high? I mean, absolutely, right? Um, but uh, it, there's it, absolutely, hands down, way more work in these than their standard production things or even their signature series, which honestly, I don't think there's that much more work in them. I think those are the ones, the signature series are the ones where I'm like, what, why, right? Um, but, you know, these are, these are pretty up there, right? Should they be quite this much? I don't know. Should they be substantially more than the production models? Absolutely. And no, no questions asked there. Um, but anyways, hey, the Sage 5, uh, is this, this must be a special edition version. It says Alzheimer's folding knife. Uh, let's take a look. National Arts Alzheimer's Association Spyderco will donate approximately 5% of sales of the Sage to National Alzheimer's Association, Denver, Colorado chapter. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I think it would be cool to see, uh, more of this type of stuff for sure. <laughs> Um, the Sage 5, if you don't know, is an absolutely fantastic EDC knife. They are very expensive, definitely, but it's one of the better EDC designs out there for sure. That's a bronze Warhound. Let's take a look at that real quick. That is freaking sick, man. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that. That is nasty. I love that. It's so cool. That bronze that they do is really, really nice. Custom Makora DLC inlay, DLC, blah, blah, blah. Hot Blued Reptilian Damascus. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, the Hot Blued stuff. Oh, my God. That blade is wicked. Let's take a closer look. Gee, Christmas. That is freaking cool, man. Get out of here. <laughs> I just want to look at it. That's really nice. Uh, <laughs> I like the little... They got the uh, the the inlay there. They hammered metal. I don't know if it's aluminum or not hammered. It's just like a textured uh, metal inlay. If it's aluminum or steel, I have no idea. That's nice. I just wish the Macora was longer. I wish the Macora two was really big. Another dire. No, that's the same one I was just looking at. Keep going here. Hold on. I mean, let the internet catch up here. The Benchmade Weekender is an odd one they have the mini uh this this thing comes and goes and i periodically see it at e knives this mini grip in with the uh sheep's foot blade with the spidey hole um is uh one to get i don't i don't uh, there's part of me that thinks this could be completely discontinued at any time or that it'll be around for a bit, but we just don't see it very often. It's 135 bucks, and it is an absolutely wonderful base for cost, uh, customization. You have so many options for this because people are like, oh, well, the problem is the scales. Um, get this and then customize it and make it what you want because you have so many options. Um, it's a little bit of a fiddly diddly to get it apart and get the Omega Springs and everything back in the right place. But... Once you manage to do it, um, it's not the hardest thing in the world. Uh, these are fantastic day-to-day -day, uh, EDC knives, especially when you've got one that's customized the way that you want it. Um, boy, the price has really gone up on the Freak, uh, the Super Freak, the M4. One of Benchmade's best knives. I remember when those were 190 bucks, and I was going, yeah, they're pretty expensive, but, eh, you know, now they're 252 Oof. Presidio 2. CF Elite, much better price. This is the pretty Presidio 2 
Oh, it's the smaller one and the bigger one. Okay, those aren't bad. The Adamus, the large one in black, is definitely one of Benchmade's coolest knives in existence right now. That might be that might be my favorite Benchmade. That is a that is an awesome knife, and it has a more robust axis lock. If you didn't know that, so I'm going to highlight this right now and not because it's a stitch because you know great the reason it's sitting here is because it's serrated if you like serration serrations grab this because it's an awesome knife but i know why it's sitting here it's because it has serrations <clears throat> you guys know what i'm going to say uh the manual stitch comes out with the new ram lock you have to scream it apparently it's all it's in all caps i don't know every time i read it i feel like i'm supposed to yell it in my mind um but Yes, finally, we're gonna have a manual bar lock version of this knife. Oh no, Mega Springs! Ah ah ah! It's got a coil spring in it. I can't wait. I'm certain that retailers like E Knives will get their hands on these things. That manual stitch. I'm gonna hold out for one that's either in carbon fiber or better yet, aluminum. I did hear, if I'm not mistaken. Tony Marfione himself say that they will eventually come in aluminum, which is what I'm gonna go for. Um, they will be pricey, but my goodness, yes. I, I'm so excited for that. That that will be one of the best, and, and as far as I know, they're USA produced. That will be one of the best uh, manual knives that, my, that Microtech has ever produced, and probably one of my, I'm hoping that it's going to be one of my favorite knives that they have ever produced. Um, I love the stitch uh, design. The, it was, uh, th that's a Borka design. Um, and I just think that um, that's that's really the way to go. So I'm really excited. In fact, I'm excited to see the Ramlock come in on a bunch of different stuff. Um, their coil spring idea is fantastic. Those will easily outlive um, your Omega Spring alternatives, and uh, it's just a better design all the way around. It's the same thing that it's the same idea that Benchmade had with the Anthem. Uh, if you didn't know, the Axis Lock in that thing had a coil spring in it, not Omega Springs. Uh, so very cool. Very excited about that. Um, ooh, that's wild. Okay, one R. Oof, for four grand. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Butch Valentin and Guardian Tactical. What? Hate the pocket clip position. Hate it. Oh, but see, Metal Complex, it's in a tactical position. Of, of course, if you knew anything about tactical scenario, eh, save it. I hate the uh, I hate the pocket clip position. The rest of the knife looks pretty good, though. That is nice. That's a custom, made in the USA. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a bad price for what it is. Right? It's obviously a lot of money for a pocket knife, but for what it actually is, I don't think that's a bad price. Not that I've handled it. Uh, Microtech Tri-Grip, Ultratech, ooh. So they, they have these with pink, but they also have them in copper, which I think will appeal to probably a different crowd. That's pretty cool. That's a nice um, E-Knives exclusive. Um, oh, there's a... Um, <laughs> It's a pre-owned Rotten Evo 3.0 in stock for $1,350. Um, I don't know if they have their own like consignment program and if that price is actually set by E-Knives or if it's set by um, the person who's, you know, like kind of how they do it on Arizona Custom Knives. I have no idea. That is not a price that I would pay for that knife. Um, just being, just trying to be honest. Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my God. So two things here. Number one, this is obviously um, a, uh, there's a lot of work that went into this. $10,000. I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I can comment on that. I don't know if anybody really has that. What I want to find out is that there are five reviews on this knife. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, here we go. It's starting off real great. I should do this more often. Wow, yay, wow. Okay, I want to read this one. FYI is, uh, uh, let me start over. FYI, a review is an opinion that a person has about a product or service. It can contain information about design functionality or cost, all of which could be formulated with or without purchase of said product. Writing a review about a personal opinion 
of a particular product in order to slander someone's economic situation is truly pathetic. Five stars for being pathetic. By the way, there are not too many of these out there. Do you own it? And where is the rule book on posting reviews? Because obviously you wrote that? What? Wait. Wait, what? What is happening here? A function and cost of which would be formulated without purchase of said product. Writing a review about a personal opinion of a particular product in order to slander someone else's economic situation is truly pathetic. Is this a review of another review? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? Well, these aren't. First of all, E knives. Why do you allow people to write reviews who don't own the? Well, uh, if I could or did own this knife, it would be the best knife in this guy's collection. So reviewist. Okay, so this is the. <laughs> They're using this as they're using the review section of this knife as a forum. This is stupid. Back to elementary. So I guess people do, don't understand you review the item once you get it. Okay, this is also stupid. <laughs> and then this, this you gave a one star review under this. For your own personal, because you took personal offense to a reply. There's a whole bunch of things wrong with this. These these are not real reviews. These are just two idiots arguing underneath. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I think it's awesome, though I couldn't and will never afford this time. So this is three. This is useless information. All of this. All four. Oh, I'm sorry. There's three people here. This person giving a one-star review, which is completely and totally misleading, and it defeats the whole purpose of the review system, right? This is so dumb. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And this, you don't, I don't think they let the knives and might possibly pick one of the staff among front. That's the only way of getting, it's useless information. Absolutely useless. Um... This is just like a comment on it, right? Then they should change it to a comment section, right? Which I also think is a bad idea. If you if you have purchased it, right? There should be a a, a portal that is you know, specific to buyers and then they can give their opinion because they bought it, right? And they experienced it. That's helpful. I want to know from people who bought it, not to I mean, like listen, I mean this is beyond the fact that this is a ten thousand dollar knife, right? But I the the whole system means that people can just argue, like people who are not actually interested in buying it or have never experienced it physically. They're just looking at a picture. It just allows them to endlessly bicker about nonsense, unrelated, just personal BS underneath a, a knife. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I can't believe that. That guy, this is the funniest thing here. This guy was like, I'll show that guy. I'll show him what I think. You know what I'll do? I'll leave a one-star review and just hope that people initially understand that it's meant in response to this guy here. I give you a one-star, sir, because I'm disgruntled. <laughs> <laughs> misdirected frustration. Oh, man. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. <laughs> Silly. Oh, man. Okay. Moving on here. We got shamans. I'm sorry. I skipped over them. They're really expensive, right? Angry, rah, rah, rah. Uh, they're here, though. So if you want a shaman, uh, both the black one and the uh, satin one are, or I'm sorry, the tumbled one are here. Also, the Drunken is back in S90V and carbon fiber for $515. Wow. Spyderco Native uh, 5 uh, for $180. That's a big no from me. That knife should be about $120. I do not know why it's $185. Sometimes I can personally, it's just like you guys, sometimes I can personally justify the prices on things, and sometimes I can't, right? 
speaking of things that I cannot justify the price on, as as hel- absolutely hilarious as I think this is, and I'm honestly glad it exists, uh, $21.50. Um, okay. Have we read the review on this one? Let's read the... Uh, oh, we got six reviews here. Let's read these. These will be interesting. Um, gotta love resellers. LMFAO, the knife is five stars all day, but $2,200 for a $400 knife. Guys, quit spending six times more than the knife's value. So, okay, fine. Um, you're this is ridiculous that you put this under the uh, the knife itself, right? Again, this is just a this is not a review system. It's just a comment section now. It's fine. I agree. It's a crazy price, but this is ridiculous and it's not helpful, right? This says lanyard. This is just a question and also a five star review, guys. Thank goodness, right? Look at all these amazing opinions, averaging it out to four stars. Wow, super helpful. Quick question, is lanyard the custom I'm trying to buy, make one for my, I could find a lanyard, blah, blah, blah. Hope to, okay, I, it's five stars. Here's another five star review. This knife isn't the only thing that's glazed. Perfect knife for any law enforcement officer. I'm sure to get the promotion now, thanks Microtech. This is kind of a humorous troll. <laughs> Glad he gave it a five star review. This person gave it three stars. Best purchase I've made, three stars. Can't wait for it to get here. Been refreshing nonstop since I'm, oh, okay. Well, I don't know if this is true or not. Uh, oh no, of course it isn't. <laughs> I, I, I gotta be coward, I don't wanna laugh. I, you can understand why I'm pumping the brakes here. Hold on, let me read this and process it real quick. Okay. <laughs> E knives, um, you got to get rid of this. You got to you got to stop letting people who are not actually purchasing it say whatever they're thinking because they will. It's not the fault of the. It, it's not. We can't really blame the. You know the people throwing peanuts, um, because they're if they get an opportunity they're gonna do it right. Some of them will troll and some of them will be serious, but it's just a not. And E knives probably knows this. Um. <laughs> God. At this point, I'm honestly just curious to find more interesting knives that have reviews so that I can read them. Um, I know the people at E Knives don't want to deal with that, right? And the people who are going through the website looking for like honest information are not going to want to deal with that either. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to think now of what I want to put in the thumbnail. Oh boy. That's the new Shirogorov Sinkovich bio machined. I remember um, seeing when that dropped and being somewhat tempted. Mm. What is bio machined? Oh, it's just that that's what they call the texture pattern. It is nice. It is nice. What what threw me was the shape of the handle. I do like that pivot. That's really cool. Yeah. It's nice and it's M398, multi row bearing, Dmitry Sinkovich and Sergey Shirogorov. It's real nice. I just I like my Shirogorovs to cost about 1000, not almost 3000. I know, special edition and all that. Kershon uh, Kershon Natrix for forty to fifty bucks. Are these still in eight CR? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, they still are. I'm ready for that steel to be gone. I know nose in the air, right? There's better steels though. Jim Parker Black Damascus three inch San Mai Prione. We have Bastinelli War Sides for all of the war scythe stuff that you do, which I wouldn't, I don't know anything about. I can't say that I've needed a combat scythe. Uh, still going here. I think we might be returning to a lot of the stuff that I have seen. That is a wild Marfion custom. Um, let's see here. I do like these, um, the Razor Ultratech Hellhounds. Um, I think they're cool. And I understand not having a tip on a blade makes it look like it's broken and it doesn't have the same level of utility. I don't know that there's a lot of people buying 
this because they're like, ah, utility. Yes, of course. Um, but it is cool. I do like how that looks. And uh, uh, I think those used to be, that blade shape used to be exclusive to customs and they've brought it to the production models. I'm gonna go one more page and then I think we are probably back, probably towards the beginning here. I just wanna see the Kraken. I have one of these here. It's pretty good. Um, it's a little bit awkward with the thumb disc. Let's read the one star review. I'm, I'm interested, right? Why, why is this one star? Five star reviews and one star reviews are the ones that are the least honest. One review. I would have appreciated getting my package, spent a thousand dollars on a single knife and made sure it was illegal to import. Now I'm not getting any updates. Would rather take my money back than deal with this again. So I have, before I was a YouTuber, before eKnives worked uh, or set up the affiliate program with me, I uh, had definitely had questions about orders and things like that in the past and it's never been a problem so this is weird this feels like somebody having a bad day and aggressively lashing out at a retailer and being spiteful and leaving a one-star review in the comment section sometimes this is you know this is something that uh you know i don't know that i would ever do that i would probably message them on social media um but that just feels like a really like Karen thing to do. That's just my opinion. Uh, that's a, an easy way to get an eye roll from whoever's reading it. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Some cool stuff. Some stuff to definitely check out. I think that's going to be pretty much it today. I enjoy reviewing reviews that are apparently reviews of other people's comments. Um, I find that uh, to be a strange and exciting uh, sort of onion layered thing so <laughs> please uh you can email me if you ever pick up a really a funny hot take as a review under an item on a retailer it doesn't matter where it's from feel free to email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com i uh i'm considering putting together an entire upload of just funny comments like that uh reviews under products right it's funny to see what you know, really like people with a lot of misdirected frustration or um, totally misguided and out of left field thoughts, right? When they're they're left to themselves and they're just like spewing what they think, like kind of like what I'm doing, right? Stream of consciousness. It's funny to read that. <laughs> so feel free to email me those. That's going to be pretty much it today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this upload. Like I said, this page will be linked right down below so you guys can check it out if you want. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my uh, content, go ahead and click on the metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.